Hi everyone, this is Satyam and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about bioinformatics and all that you need to know about it. So today I'll be discussing a total of 15 points including the 4 questions towards the end. And the points will include about bioinformatics, the courses which are included in it, the course fees, course duration, eligibility criteria, the exams, exam type and uh, the top 10 colleges, top 10 recruiters, average salary, job profiles and everything. And yeah, the important 4 questions towards the end. So let's get quickly started. With today's video. So, what is bioinformatics? Bioinformatics is basically an, inter is an interdisciplinary field of science and technology which combines various areas like biological information, tools of computer science, mathematics, engineering, statistics, and more. So, biotechnology. So, bioinformatics is also known as computational biology because it utilizes databases, uh, mathematics, and statistics to collect to store, organize, arrange a large amount of uh, medical as well as physical as well as health information of uh, people. So this is all about bioinformatics. Now moving on to the kind of courses which are available in this particular you know stream bioinformatics. So uh, if you opt for bioinformatics you will get to study UG programs that is undergraduate programs. You will get to study PG programs, postgraduate, PhD. You can pursue PhD in bioinformatics. You can also obtain a PG diploma course and uh, you can go for certification programs in bioinformatics. So so moving on to the fee structure. In case of bioinformatics, the fee structure it ranges from somewhere rupees uh, rupees one thousand to thirteen lakhs, depending on the kind of college where you have applied for, whether it's a government college or it's a private college. Moving on to the next thing, that is the. So in case of UG programs, the course duration is three years, PG is two years, PhD is three to five to you know more years, depending on the kind of university where you are pursuing your PhD from. And in case of diploma certification, it ranges from somewhere between six months to one year. Now the eligibility criteria. In case you are applying for an undergraduate program, UG. That means you should have a plus two in physics, chemistry and biology. Mathematics can be optional with a minimum of 50% marks. And uh, if you are applying for a PG course, then you can have a BSc in physics, in agriculture, in veterinary science, in fishery science, BTEC in IT or you can have a BE in IT. You can have a BE in CS and apart from all these eligibilities, uh, you can also have a MBBS degree, BAMS degree, BHMS degree. In case you are going for a PG diploma course, then you should have a BSc in bioinformatics or any other relevant field. And if you are going to pursue diploma certification courses, then you should have a plus two in physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics with minimum of 50% marks. So these are the eligibility criteria in case of UG, PG, PhD, PG diploma and diploma certifications. Moving on to the next point. Admission procedure. Admission procedure in case of bioinformatics is entrance based, entrance exam based and followed by an interview. The interview will depend on the kind of the college where you are applying for. And there are various entrance exams. So moving on to the next point that is the entrance exams. So, so I am mentioning them here on the screen. So these are the entrance exams and moving on to the next point. Next point is the syllabus. So syllabus in case of uh, undergraduate program in bioinformatics, uh, it is here on the screen. And the syllabus for the PG program is also here on the screen. So moving on to the next point. The next point says courses which are offered in case of BSc in Bioinformatics, MSc in Bioinformatics, PhD and um, PG Diploma and Diploma Certification. So first of all in case of a UG program in Bioinformatics you will be offered a BSc in Bioinformatics, BSc Honours in Bioinformatics, BTEC in Bioinformatics, BE in Bioinformatics, Certificate in Bioinformatics. An advanced diploma in bioinformatics. In case of 
PG in bioinformatics, you will be offered a MSc in bioinformatics, MSc honors in bioinformatics, MTech in bioinformatics, ME in bioinformatics, and a MS in bioinformatics. In case you're opting for a doctorate degree PhD, you will be offered a PhD in bioinformatics. In case you are opting for a PG diploma, there will be a PG diploma in bioinformatics. And in case you are going for a diploma certification, there will be options like advanced diploma in bioinformatics, bioinformatics graduate certificate and certificate course in bioinformatics. Uh, there will be changes from college to college. While applying, you have to, you know, inquire all these things, uh, like in which particular stream you can say, uh, where you want to take admission and choose the entire thing very wisely. Moving on to the next point. Specialization. There are certain specializations in bioinformatics and they are information content in DNA, RNA, protein, sequence and structure. Architecture and content of genomes. Number three, nucleic acid and protein sequence analysis. Number four, data storage and retrieval. Database storage and annotation. Number six is complex system analysis or, or genetic circuits. Number seven is evolutionary model building and phylogenetic analysis. Number eight is data mining. So these are the specializations. Moving on to the next point. So the next point says the top 10 colleges. See, there are, there are various colleges in India uh, which offers bioinformatics like, um, you know, there are both government as well as private colleges. Uh, in case of government, it's available in Punjab University, Gujarat University and uh, Jamia Milia Islamia and Jamia Hamdard, etc. In case of government, uh, like private colleges, it's available in Manipal University, Karnataka in VIT Vellore, in Manasthali, in Kalinga, in Amity University, Noida, and there are various others. I am mentioning both the government as well as the private colleges here on the screen for your reference. Moving on to the next point. The top 10 recruiters uh, in case of bioinformatics. So, they are Wipro, IBM, uh, TCS, Reliance, Biocon, Silicon uh, Genetics and Tesla, Torrent Pharmaceuticals, Rinvaxi, Strand Life Sciences, etc. So, moving on to the next point, that is the job profiles. Now, there are profiles. Now, there are various job profiles that you get after studying bioinformatics, and some of them are number one, bioinformatics analyst, number two, biostatistician, number three, bioinformatics software developer. Number four, associate research scientist. Number five, medical coders. And apart from all these job profiles, a person who has pursued bioinformatics can get a job in various other, uh, you know, organizations like in pharmaceutical organization, in biotechnology companies, and uh, in hospitals, in biomedical organization, in research organizations. And they can also work in all those industries where there is IT involved along with molecular biology. Now, some of the other job profiles uh, related to bioinformatics are computational chemists, bio, uh, they can get a job in bioanalytics, they can become a database designer and maintainers, they can get a job in proteomics, they can become a pharmacologist and can become an informatics developer and sky is the limit. There are multiple other job roles. So yeah, moving on to the next point for the day, that is the average salary. So, so since this is an emerging field of science and which has gained a lot of acceptance and um, there are various jobs and job roles available in the market as this is something which is biology along with technology. So the demand is high and the average salary and package for a beginner ranges somewhere between 5 to 10 lakhs per annum. So if you are someone who has a lot of interest in biology along with technology and who is ready to you know study mathematics, statistics, computer science all together then you can give it a try for bioinformatics. With so, this I have discussed all the 14 points and the 15th point are those 4 important questions which I told I will be discussing towards the end. So they are number 1. What is the basic difference between BSc in Bioinformatics and BSc Honours in Bioinformatics? Now, Honours deals with a particular, you know, it focuses on one main subject. Why, you know, general course is 
like multidisciplinary. So this is the basic difference. Now the next question is, what is the basic difference between BTEC, MTEC in bioinformatics and BME in bioinformatics? So BTEC, MTEC is a technical degree, it's a professional degree, it's practical based. In case of BME, it's of the engineering side, it's theoretical. So now moving on to the next question. What is the basic difference between BTEC, MTEC in bioinformatics and BSc, MSc in bioinformatics? Now again the same thing. BTEC, MTEC in bioinformatics is technical, professional and practical based while BSc is an introduction to BSc, MSc is an introduction to general science and since it in, in case of bioinformatics it involves a lot of technology Therefore, it has turned out to be professional. So, moving uh, to the last question of the day. What is the basic difference between BSc, MSc in Bioinformatics and BSc, MSc in Biotechnology? So, as I told you initially, Bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary, is an interdisciplinary field of science and technology. So, which utilizes a lot of mathematics, statistics and databases, you know. Uh, to you know store and collect and analyze all the information related to medical and uh, physical and health etc while in case of biotechnology we make we make use of the living things and for, here there is a use of you know databases and a lot of mathematical tools computational tools comes into picture in case of bioinformatics here there is a use of living things and the kind of practicals and the processes and the experiments that we carry on in order to design a product which can be useful for the mankind or you know for the society at large so this is the basic difference and you can understand biotechnology is uh, like it includes a lot of wet lab practices while in case of bioinformatics there will be there will be practicals but it won't be you know kind of wet lab it will be more of dry labs and uh, will be completely different it will be uh, something which will be related to the system and hope i have made myself very clear regarding bioinformatics so with this i come to the end of today's video hope you guys like it and hope you guys understood all that i have tried to make you all understand so I'll see you in my next video. Till then, if you have any doubt, please feel free to post that in the comment section. I'll come up with an answer. If you have any video suggestion, and then you can post that. Too. I'll see you in my next video. If you are someone who is going to make a decision regarding what subject to choose, like which stream to choose, bioinformatics, biotechnology, microbiology, biomedical, or you know, whatever, do it very wisely and uh, think on all the parameters, your interest pattern and your understanding of the subjects and then make a decision and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, stay tuned, keep watching, keep smiling. Bye-bye. Take care.